Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I'm making another video for those who don't like want to do the script thing um, because I understand some of you just want to do it the easy way. Um, so I'm just going to give you a little, um, the, the, uh, it's going to be a really short video because you ever, because it's one small step that just prevents you from doing everything else in my original video. Um, so essentially what um, you're going to need is you're going to need um, the older A boot file, which I am going to put uh, in the link. I'm going to put a link in the description about that. Um, it's found on my GitHub, the same place where you get the link. Um, you're going to need that, and then you're going to need some like you're going to need some uh, the Android ADB and fast boot, boot tools. Um, now this can be this process is relatively easy. Um, I'm gonna just show you like really quickly how to do it, and then I'm gonna forward you to my original video because it's just you really don't need to do that much. So um, first we're um, gonna get the A boot file, which actually comes in here. Um, we're gonna download this zip from my GitHub and. Um, that going here and you can open any of these depending on whatever I'm gonna open this one but it doesn't really matter I'm gonna open this and all you really need is this right here this a boot image it's not very big it's like literally one megabyte um, so I'm gonna put this on the desktop right here and I'm gonna close this down because this is all we what we really need and the next thing uh, we're gonna we're gonna need is um, we're gonna need the Android debug bridge tools. Um, I'm gonna provide this link in the description too, but it's also, another link is also in my last video, uh, not my last video, the video that I made for originally accessing the Android layer on Lightroom 2. So we're gonna download this here. And this is for Mac OS. Of course, it can be done on Linux and Windows. Just, I've already shown you guys most of this. It's downloaded. I'm gonna take this right here put it on the desktop so we got our tools and we got our a boot so now that we've done that um what we're going to do is we're going to take our light phone and put it into fast boot mode so we're gonna so right here we have our phone and it's on but i'm gonna actually take this off like that and then we're gonna we're gonna power it off Phone's gonna turn off, and then on the side you're gonna see a volume down button, and then you're gonna see the power button. So you're gonna hit click on both of these at the same time. So it's gonna be volume down right here and power, and you hold both of them at once. And then when the phone buzzes, you'll get a go light screen, and you can plug in your phone back into this from the charging cable to your computer, and you should just get a go light screen. And now what we're going to do is we're going to open our terminal or command prompt, whatever you use. And we're going to go CD and drag the platform tools in. This can be done on all of them. And we're going to go download fast boot devices, just to make sure our device is there. And our device is there. Um, it's in fast boot. As you can see, it's on the go light screen. And it's recognized by the computer. So we're all good. Uh, if it's not on Windows, if it's not recognized, you need to you may need to download some additional drivers. Those can be found by just googling uh, Android Debug Bridge uh, drivers or ADB Fast Boot drivers. It's really easy. Um, so now all we're gonna do is we're going to do we're gonna type Fast Boot Fast Toot Fast Boot. Or actually, it's fast. It would be fast boot. <laughs> fast boot. Flash. Boot. Flash. Actually, a boot. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this here. And what I'm gonna tell you right now is that there is some risk flashing this because if your phone is unmodified in any way. Um, that and you flash this you may prevent your phone from uh, upgrading to future 
firmware updates. Uh, I realize that the latest is 83 and uh, this won't touch that firmware, but uh, if you try to update normally, you may need to, uh, if you join our Discord, I provide the latest system and boot images so that you can flash those manually if you want to stay on the most up-to-date firmware. So that's what we're doing. So right now we're going to be flashing this image to our phone. We got the ABU image and then we hit enter. And then all we're going to do is we're going to do fast boot, free boot, boot loader, hit enter. It's going to reboot really quick. And you re entered bootloader just to double check that. And it, actually, it's in fast boot mode, but it's literally the same thing. Just kidding. Never mind. There, it's the same thing. I'm just tired. <laughs> so, um, it's in bootloader mode. And then now you can go back to uh, 729 on my original video. Um, right here, 729, where uh, he starts enabling the OEM ADB command. So um, you can go there, and that's basically about it. That that that, that gets around the version 79 and 83 patch that they did. Um, I hope you liked this video. Hope this helped, and uh, I'll see you next time.